Guys, um, today I'm just going to be um, recording uh, gameplay between myself and my friend Pan Luca. Um, Hello, guys. Um, we're just going to be looking at um, a couple of decks and how they play with the new uh, extra monster zones and the new rulings. Um, we obviously don't know a whole lot about the new rules. We don't know all the details of of what effects will be allowed, what types of special summons might, you know, be allowed. Um, within the mechanic um so we're just going to be playing with you know it to the best of our knowledge um just to, just to point out um before we get underway um we're treating uh not improper special summons from the extra deck to be acceptable um that means things like ultimaya tolkien and abc dragon buster because they're not fusion summons or synchro summons they're special summons from the extra deck by a by a different effect so we're going to assume that they're allowed and you don't need a link for those. So um, for this first game, Pan Luca is playing um, ABC and I'm going to be playing Blue Eyes Bish Falcon. So my deck is uh, doesn't use link monsters. Um, it's sort of designed to take advantage of uh, the opponent not being able to summon that, uh, that well. Whereas Luca is going to be using link monsters, but um, his ABC deck should be quite good at uh, being able to get around the new mechanic anyway. So let's see what happens. Um, you ready to start, Luca? Oh, uh, yeah. All right, let's roll. Okay, so I got a six. Me too. Oh, nice. <laughs> 30, 20. 13? 16, 16, your choice. Yeah, I'm going first. All right, then. All right, I'm going to activate her for me. Okay. Adding you then hang it to the hand. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna go for policy service as well. Okay. Did you banish all your pieces? Uh, I'm not gonna comment on that. <laughs> 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 All right, so I am going to activate Boolean Fusion. Okay, then. So uh, some, some, something to point out in uh, my uh, the few games we've played of this mechanic um, so far, um, it seems like the game is a lot more of a it's a lot more acceptable to play second rather than first again, but. ABCs do seem to still be very good at um, being able to do all their stuff in the first turn. And obviously he's going for um, the Brilliant Fusion Seraph Knight, so he's going to be able to get two normal summons, which will be able to give him um, a Link Summon. Alright then, Union here. Effective Union here, I'm adding a Assault Core. Okay. Uh, I've got two normal summons. I'm going to use the effect of Seraphonite with the normal summon of B Buster Drake. Mm -hmm. Effect of Union Hanger, allowing me to add C. Now I'm going to I'm going to link already. Yeah. I so think... you've got um. B and B, uh, C equipped to a B, and C engrave, B on the field. Did you add an A to the hand at some point? Yes. Yeah, that was a union hanger. All right, then I'm going to use a link summon. I'm okay. Going to... So two effect ones. Yes, yes, yes. um, yeah. Although, uh, hang on. First of all, uh, is this for link three? This is for. Uh, link free, yes. Yeah, so you'll need to summon C Crush Wyvern first. Um so you can special summon that from the from equipped, can't you? Yeah, it's not, okay, okay. I get it. So you need three monsters for it, yeah. Then I'm gonna do the free. Alright. Free to get out Deco Tolka. Okay. And you're placing him in on this zone, yeah? Yeah, could I also summon it here? You can choose, yeah. Oh, okay. 
Well, I just find we're gonna do it here. It doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. So these are your link zones. All right. So I use old core normal summon. Yep. Because I've used this rough knight. So um, deco talker gains five hundred attack from this link. That's yes. Effect, yeah. I'm going to I'm going to summon ABC Dwingbuster by banishing Seacrush with a Keybuster Great and the Assault Core. Okay. Even though I don't have to summon it in this Link Sense, I'm going to use it just to give him some attack points. Okay. And. Yeah, that's my turn. Your turn. Alrighty then, um, I'm going to um, activate Melody of the Awakening Dragon, um, discarding Dragon Core Hexa to search for Chaos Max and Alternative. I'm going to. Um, Special summon alternative by revealing blue eyes from the hand. Mm, yes, that, that's a bit, yeah. Um, effective alternative targeting Dragon Buster to destroy. Uh, yeah, obviously, chain. Yep. To banish. Yep. And then I will activate advanced ritual art. Hey, the, this ABC drum must get destroyed. Yes, right. Uh, I I could yeah, chain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can chain to it. It'll still be destroyed. You you could have you could have chained the effect. But yeah, he'll still be destroyed. So I could get these back. Yeah, you can do if you want to retroactively do it. Yeah, that's fine. Um, anyway, ri advanced ritual art is that all right? Advanced ritual art is a. That's good. Um, I will send uh, Dragon Spirit. Uh, wait, does it count as a normal monster in the deck? No, only Handle Graveyard. So I'll have to send Blue Eyes from the deck to the graveyard to special summon or ritual summon Chaos Max. No. Um, I'm going to activate Return of the Dragon Lords on uh, Blue Eyes. Then I will proceed to the battle phase, and I'll have Chaos Max Dragon declare an attack on whoever has the lowest defense. Okay, so you take a lot of damage. Oh, uh, yeah. You're going to be taking... How much is it? 200? So you're yeah. going to be taking 7,600 damage because of the effect Which of double really piercing. Good. Yep. Alright, I've got 400 left. Um, I just need to think of a way to... Deal you some splash damage or something. I don't think I have a way for that, unfortunately. Um, I will have blue eyes attack uh, B. Um, effect of B? Yep. Adding two hand. Yeah, I'm going to two hand B. Okay. Um, I will enter the main phase two. Normal summon, and then I'm going to synchro summon for Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. Obviously, I need to summon him in the extra monster zone, um, and I'll proceed to the end phase and activate the effect of the White Stone of Ancients, and I will special summon Dragon Spirit of White from my deck. And on the summon, I will activate the effect, targeting that to banish. The big reveal. Yes, the big reveal. Oh, wait. <laughs> nice bait. <laughs> I was I was genuinely worried that it was going to be like a solemn strike, like when I summoned this Chaos Max. Um, alrighty then. I will. Uh, well, that's my end phase, obviously. So end of my turn. Your turn. All right, draw. I'm not sure. I <laughs> what is this? I'll I'll reverse it. All right, thanks. So. 
draw. No, not with this simple two. Alrighty then. So this is still a, a f on the field. Yes. The extra extended. Okay. Oh yeah, I should have. Oh, I couldn't. You, you could have done two hundred damage. I couldn't. I couldn't be over it because. Uh, yeah, you could have. Uh, wasn't well, he? No, he was on. Uh, he was on three three thousand three hundred, wasn't he? He was on two eight after you killed uh, this guy. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, okay. Pay attention, kids, because you need to remember that there are monsters in this. Yeah, <laughs> so, I'm gonna forget this as well. Then probably. <laughs> I know it's gonna happen so so much. Actually, I'm gonna um. I'm gonna activate the effect of spirit dragon. Um, you've drawn, haven't you? So call it standby phase. Yeah. Um, tribute. To what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna just go for protection. No, actually, I'm, I'm not gonna go for protection. I'm gonna go for annoying. So black rain's moonlight um, effect. Return the code talker to your hand. <laughs> Which is in the extra deck. All right, that is not good. At this point, I am going to activate Dark Hole. Yep. Um, I'm going to banish Return of the Dragon Lords from my graveyard to prevent the destruction. Yes. No, my monster gets destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> effect. I normal summon. Yeah, effect of this, I could activate it. Uh, I could special summon this, but it doesn't really make a difference. I can special summon it, yeah. Yep. Uh, effect of Union Hanger. Mm -hmm. I don't even think I have a target. Uh, well, you can check. Uh, you can check, and if you don't, I'm pretty sure I don't. I'll have a look in your bench. Uh, yeah, these Spanish things. Yeah. All right, so I've got this up, and now I'm just gonna go for the yellow desires. Wow. That's. Yeah, I would. I would die otherwise. Yeah. Well, I think you're gonna die I have anyway. To do something. <laughs> Probably, but. 20 cards banished. That's 21 now. Drawing two cards. Wow. Did it save you? Totally. <laughs> totally saved. Well, I can go for another ABC, but. That's, that's the only thing I can do when I'm going for it. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. So just remember, Chaos Max Dragon can't be targeted or yeah. destroyed. Yeah, which is pretty annoying. Yep. And the extra dex one. Oh, you want to put him in the extra dex zone? Oh, yeah, I'm allowed to, right? I'm not allowed. You can, you can okay, I can put him here, but that, I can also put him here. Yeah. Because he's not from been, what we know been, by now. Because he's not I mean, been regular fusion summoned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Then I'm gonna activate ABC Dragon Master's effect. Yeah. Discard. Target. Discard. Target. Is there anything in the graveyard? Can you target grave? No. Is there anything in the graveyard which can save you? Um. Like no. I guess not. You so. could tribute this and uh, moonlight. So you're targeting moonlight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Targeting one like to banish this. Yep. Yeah, I'm entering the battle phase and I'm attacking. Uh, okay, I will chain the effect tribute to special summon. You get the replay, obviously. Mm, yeah, so. <laughs> I don't have to attack, do I? No, you don't have to. Um... Yeah, you know, um, I. I completely forgot to spawn in life point calculator, sure. Probably do that after. You're on like, how many? 400 or something. 400, so yeah. it's probably gonna end soon. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm gonna end my turn. I can't Sorry. too much. Your Chaos Max is really strong against ABC. It's not bad, is it? But it's it's a bricky deck, so it was kind of lucky that I got it. Um, anyway, I'll proceed to the battle phase. Take the that thing. Oh, you're doing so much damage as well. Yes, damage, yeah. All right, so now we're going to try um, the last couple of decks. I'm going to be using Metal Foes, which is my current main deck in real life, so this should be fun. Um, 
whereas Luca's going to be playing Cyber Dragons. Um, um, I'm just going to look at the extra deck, and um, as you can see, I've put Link Spider in this time because I use normal monsters, the Metal Foes, um, so I can get him out pretty pretty damn quickly, I think. Um, I've also gone for Gaia and Decode Talker. So let's roll. And you know, this is kind of like I know Cyber Dragons are a, an OTK deck, so I probably don't really want to go first in this instance. Just kind of weird as a pendulum deck, but it's your choice anyway. So, do you want to go first or second? Yeah. So, if I go first, I can only maybe bring out an Infinity. That's not gonna stop you from doing much if you play Mud Wait, with this new mechanic, mm -hmm. I think. No, I'm going second and still. Still going second. Well, you're not gonna draw your entire deck. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna draw my entire deck. <laughs> That's a little too much. Hmm. Interesting. There's a question though that hasn't been answered, and it's I don't know. It's kind of difficult because, like, it says the the summon requirement for a link monster is to send those monsters you control to the graveyard. That's the wording of how it's how it's described in the rules. Pendulums, obviously, when they're on the field, they go to the top of the extra deck rather than the graveyard, so I'm assuming they'll just go to the extra deck, but I don't know that for a fact. But I'm just going to, I think it's fair to assume that they'll just go to the top of the extra deck because the rule is, you know, card, cards that send them to the graveyard, they go to the top of the extra deck instead when they're on the field. So I think that's that should be what we observe at yeah, least for now. Yeah, that's quite like Okay, so what will be your first move? Wait, you, you're going first. I'm allowing you to go first. Oh, oh you're letting me go first. Cool. All right. Upstart yeah. Goblin. You get a um, thousand, I draw one. That's, that's fine. I'm going to special summon Gofu, activate the effect, get the tokens. So what about the tokens? How are we ruling this? Um, You can't use them to summon links because they can't go to the graveyard. All right. Uh, I need tokens. Um... I'll just... So it just says it's center graveyard, not anything about tributing or something. Yeah, nothing like that. Um, okay. I'll just, just I'll just use these, these tokens. Um. So I'm going to activate Bismagate, uh, Bismagate in the right pendulum zone, and not forgetting that the pendulums are now down here. Um, effect of Bismagear, target a token to destroy, to set uh, Metal Foes Fusion. Then I will activate Metal Foes Fusion, fusing a token and um, Metal Foes Vol Flame to summon my one currently allowed extra deck monster. I'm then going to activate the effect of Fusion in the graveyard, shuffle it back and draw one. Then um, I'm going to send those two to the graveyard to bring out um, Tolkien because it doesn't count as a synchro summon, so I believe it, it will be acceptable under the new mechanic. I'm then going to set one to activate Tolkien effect and special summon Crystal Wing. And again, this is a special summon, it's not it's an improper summon, it's not a synchro summon, so it should be okay. Um, next I will um, set goal driver in the left pendulum zone and I'm going to uh, pendulum one. Then I will um, activate the effects of goal driver targeting Bismagear to set, uh, I'll go for counter in this case. And Bismagear effect will activate in the end phase. I will proceed to the end phase um, and activate the effects of Bismagear. I'll search for a Metal Phase monster, add it to my hand, adding Vault Flame. And you're fine. Right. <laughs> That's not, still not, a not a bad first turn. Yeah, Metal Phase still yeah. work out pretty well, at least with the Gofu Tolkien Crystal Wing, as long as this is um, acceptable. Um, and I think it will be. It seems like it would be. Because obviously they can't be recovered from the graveyard because they haven't been 
regularly summoned. Synchro summoned. All right, I gotta think on that one. That's a hard turn to get over, but I think I'm gonna be able to. All right. So yeah, p playing pendulums, and this is something that I noticed with Frosty yesterday. Um, you have to be really careful about where you put the links and where you put where you pendulum summon your monsters, because like when you're pendulumming, you don't really think about it. You just go, all right, summon monster, 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 and then like you got to remember, like if I summon Link Spider, it's only got a down arrow, so it'll only be allow me to sink in, uh, to link into this zone. You're gonna kaiju. Oh boy. Crystal Wing, why are you so fragile? Mm, yeah, maybe we should have activated the first, but Twin Twister. Let's go. Putting this to destroy. Well, let's counter. Yeah, this two. <laughs> Emma's Tina Gates, right? All right. Pardon? <laughs> Emma's Tina Gates, right? Yeah, Emma's Tina Gates, totally. All right, Power Bond. Oh boy. With the three cyber drinks in my head. No, I got a normal summon this first, so it's in the cyber drink. Yeah. And then power one. Yeah, yeah. Galaxy Soldier. And so again, cyber like cyber, cyber dragons are still pretty, like, or, or right, you might say good again because they only generally need one big thing. Oh, over dragon. I thought you were going to go for rampage. Yeah, that's the only one I can summon. You don't have rampage? Mm, when rampage needs two or more cyber drinks. Ah, uh, okay. Cyber Dragon Monsters, uh, yeah. That's doubled, right? Wait, it doubles the original attack, so it doesn't double anything. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> oh, wait. His original attack. <laughs> okay, no, no. It says that the original attack is the, uh, the number of It gains attack equal ended. to it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but oh, right. that, that's fine then. Yeah, that's fine. So it's, so, it's 1 6 times 2, it's 3 2? Yeah, that's alright. And with three two, I'm gonna attack. Yeah, question mark, question mark can't be an original attack, so yeah. You're gonna attack Tolkien, okay. Tolkien. Yep. And. Oh, it can make more than one attack per turn, can it? A number yes, of times two, equals the number of fusion materials. Alrighty then. Okay, the Alphas are gonna take some damage. Yep, 1800, right? Yeah. And it was six, one six. Oh, so he didn't have. He had one six, and that means he had three two because of power. Oh, uh, three two. I thought you said three six. All right. And that's going to be the end of my turn. I'm going to take some damage, and I'll draw. Nice. I'm going to set ball flame in the right pendulum zone. Um, I've got one to summon. Yeah, think it's difficult thinking about what, what exactly you need to do at this point. I'm going to normal summon Gold Driver, and then I'm going to Link summon with Gold Driver for the Link Spider, and then I'm going to Pendulum summon. Two. All right. So his attack stays at the the double, doesn't it? Um, so still on three two. Does it? Yeah, I think. Yes, so. it does. Yeah. Oh, nice three two. Um, I'm going to use the effects of Muscle Post Gold Driver to target Vol Flame. I should have done this first, really. I'm not thinking straight. Links make you confused. Um, so for fusion. All right. And I'm going to fuse using eccentric and gold driver to summon Mithrilium. And I'll activate the effect of fusion. And then I will Activate the effect of Mithrilium, and I will target 
Ball Flame, and it'll have to be countered because I don't have any other targets. And yet, return him to the extra deck. Oh, wait, yeah, you can summon with Rillian here. You could have summoned here. Sorry, yeah. yeah. Because the red thing, yeah. Yep. What's his effect? Once per turn, you can summon one level 4 or lower monster to your hand. Okay. Normal monster, though, but that's okay because I'm metal based. Oh, and it's special summon. Ah, right. It doesn't say normal on the text. It doesn't say it on the text, but it, if you remember, the actual card does it. I just okay. we didn't have the full text at the time when I made that. Oh. So I will enter the battle phase and attack for two two. And two six. And, uh, and uh, one thousand, because I'm not forgetting my <laughs> link spider. <laughs> yeah, you always forget about this. Uh, Changes. Yeah, in my turn. I I draw one card. It's not the dream. Uh, it is the dream, obviously. You know, uh, like this yeah. is so unusual to be in a situation where you just can't do so much stuff. Like I'm used to playing muscle foes and filling up boards and doing like three fusions in one turn because you get like Oracalc, Oracalc effect, pop. Mithrilium, Mithrilium effect, special summon, and another Mithrilium, and then like during the battle phase, activating full metal force fusion to get another one and get an extra attack. But I, I do kind of like this. You have to think a lot more. Yeah, and the Zulkan thing is still very powerful. It is. I mean, it's more powerful than before because other people are not able to do it with other cards. Yeah, so I'm going to activate Painful Decision. Alright. And send. Um... Where are you? There you are, stealing to the grave and add a steel into my hand. Set scale stealing in the scale. Um What do we got? What do we got? I'm going to use the effect of stealing. Go search fusion. And set silvered in the left scale. Um how many have we got to summon? So I can pendulum up to Wait, what would happen if you had attacked me with Link Spider and I'd activate Quaking Mirror Force? Uh, it won't get flipped face down, but everything else on the field will. Cause... So it can just continue attacking? Yeah, it can't It can't be in any other position other than attack. Okay. So I'm going to summon Gold Driver, Gold Driver, Vol Flame. And Pendulum? Yeah. Yep. And I'm going to activate Muscle Phase Fusion. I think. Don't know why, but why not? Mithrilium, Ball Flame. I think this is like the best, most efficient way of doing it. Um, go for Mithrilium. And effect of Mithrilium on the summon, uh, uh, when he's sent from the field to the graveyard, special summon full flame, an effect of full metal foes fusion, and then uh, effect of metal foes Mithrilium, shuffle these two back, and return this to the hand. And my quaking mirror is not. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll enter the battle phase and like kill you in the classic metal. Wow, phase. that's. <laughs> so yeah, metal foe is pretty good still, pretty good still. Not not quite as crazy as they have been, and are, but um, definitely still very capable. And like this, like, this is not a bad little addition. So yeah, how much damage do I have on board? Let's see, probably more than usual to be honest. Two six, three four uh, five. Five, six, four, seven, eight, um, eight, six, nine, ten thousand. Another monster seven. 
the you can have six monsters, so it could be more damage. Yeah, so that's it's quite good. Um, definitely not going to stop playing Metal Blows then. But other, other, I, I do think like Blue Eyes, Blue Eyes, Blue Eyes Chaos Max will be good. But yeah, Metal Blows is pretty good. It's like just the fact that like just having one, it's like playing against other decks like that can spam like Zodiacs, and then you have this where they can still do really well just using one extra deck at a time. It's, it's not that bad. And if we get another, like if we get like a link monster that requires two normal monsters or something like that, and it's a link two, and it has you know two link zones, that would be really good for metal foes. Yeah, may maybe you'll use the link monsters as a ghost ch cherry target. Like yeah. Would... Oh, oh, that would be awful, wouldn't it? But you'd have to know which <laughs> you have to know which one they're going to use, though, really, don't you? So yeah, they're not going to be that many when it comes out first. Are no, they? initially it's going to be like that would be your cherry's target, really, because this one's broken. And for Zodiac Beast, that because that does, I think they didn't want to completely bury Zodiac Beast. They didn't want to completely shut them down, so they yeah. added Mister Zodiac. But yeah, Deco Talker, it's it's pretty good. Like five hundred attack for each monster linked to it, including including an opponent's monster. Has the nice balance of allowing the opponent to summon as well if it's there. Yeah, and the link it's a link free. It takes a load of three effect monsters, so yeah, well I think that's um you know, a good first sort of like practice run through of uh, some of the decks and how they might be affected by link monsters. Obviously we don't know exactly all the details of what it's gonna be like, but you know, playing with this rule, as you can see, it's slowed the game down, it's forced us to not be able to spam the field and we've had to think a lot more about what we're doing so uh, yeah i uh, hope you enjoyed it guys i hope that you found it interesting if there's anything that you thought we did wrong or or whatever um, and any other observations you have please feel free to comment so thanks guys